Well, this looks kind of interesting. McConnell and Andy's opinion of Asmon after Blizzard CEO calls him out. Do you think that uh, he meant it to be lighthearted, but everyone just kind of ran with it? Uh, I, get I mean, I in my opinion, opinion okay. To be banned. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can say this because I've known Asmon for over a decade. Andy says Asmon is an asshole. Andy Milanakis in here talking shit? <laughs> what the fuck? He's not running. No, That's not running. funny. Of course. If the shoe fits, I mean, you know, listen. He doesn't, he doesn't play retail. Asmon Bro. doesn't play retail. I haven't played retail. He reacts and plays weeb games. So, I don't... Well, correction. Asmongold doesn't play weeb games. Asmongold plays pay-to-win games, where he can uh, just dish out millions and look good because he has done it. I don't know where his expertise of the game is coming from these days. I know he had decent parses in Legion, okay? Okay. And, and Cataclysm. And Mists of Pandaria. And Warlords of Draenor. And Legion. No, I stopped raiding after. Is, is, is that true, by the way? That, just but that years doesn't ago. translate ten years ago. <laughs> and yes, that's like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, he, can, he can no longer do it. About the game today. Yep. All right, as much it. as I would love to back him up, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. He is my friend. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, it's not there anymore. Yep, who's gonna hate Thread now, motherfucker? That shit. <laughs> Here's the truth. What okay. the fuck has changed? Everybody always talks about this. Like, I don't know what, what the raids are like now. Mm -hmm. What's changed that I just don't understand? Well, first of all, the fact that you haven't played it, obviously you don't understand what has changed. Probably something has changed, but that's not the point, obviously. Asmongold's point is very simple, but easy to miss in this context, so I'll rephrase it. This balding, pigeon, sealed, decrepit-looking motherfucker is just too old to handle it, okay? Ha! Huh. He, he's here, he has been for the last ten years now sitting here saying, Where? Where? Can it? G games too hard, make them easier. Where, where? World of Warcraft too hard, make crazy. That that's pretty much it. Okay, the old man literally can't handle it anymore. It, it, it is what it is. Being a decrepit pigeon that has anorexia does that to you. At some point, you just give out. I don't get it. Because like. It seems like it's kind of the same stuff. It is. I mean, I've done but multiple incarnates multiple times. How many I times don't do know I what have that to is, do is. it? How many times do I have to do Aberus? I don't know what that See, is. See, here's the problem. So I'm in a situation where I literally can't win. Because if I go and I do the raids now, people will say I got carried. But that's technically going to be probably true. If I did the raids before, people will say that I'm a hardcore player, I'm so invested into the game, I'm not the normal audience, so my opinion doesn't matter. If I don't do the raids, then people will say that I'm not qualified. True. I think people just don't want to listen to what I'm saying. I think people just don't want to hear it. They don't like what I'm they don't like what I'm saying. Because I have no what? idea what he's saying, but true. It doesn't matter how long ago I did the raids because I'm still right. I'm about what though? I have no clue. Still right. <laughs> I'm lost. The same problems that existed in the game seven years ago. They're still dead. Yeah, everyone still knows that. Now, you still have to run back to the bosses every single time. You still have to clear trash, and I think too much of it. Yeah. You still have to have all of your gear invalidated multiple times a year. I mean, that's, that's, I agree with that, but, you know, to have that opinion, you don't have to do a raid or anything. You just have to have a slight bit of, you know, not wanting to hate yourself while playing a game, you know? Not even common sense is required for this one. Whenever previously you would only have to do that once an expansion. You still have to rebuff. You still have to get a food buff every time. You still True. need a warlock to summon. This didn't change, and I'm not wrong.
No, I understand that a lot of people, a lot of people say, oh, oh, it doesn't matter, right? Whatever. Listen, I, I would like to hear people that have actual arguments against what I'm saying. And add-ons, yeah. Do or, or, or do people still use five different add-ons to raid? Let's yeah. look right now. Actually, and you know it what? To be I can check right now. I I can actually. Let's look That's right true. now. That's true. Um, well, what let's are you see. Is there somebody check? doing Abaris right now? What is Abaris though? Abaris raid. That's no. Oh, nobody's doing the new raid. Oh, there there we go. Uh this is Sarkarath. Okay, so let's see. Give me see. a quick boss reset, guys. The doing? fuck is this? Oh, a boss reset. Why do we have to do boss resets for hero? Well, why doesn't your hero just reset as soon as you engage the boss? Why doesn't it just reset every cooldown? I just don't... I, I, I don't want to have to run back to bosses anymore. I don't want to have to wait for a warlock to summon. I don't want to have to rebuff in front of a boss fight. I don't want to have to reset a boss for heroism or for any cooldown. This is just stupid. And I think the game has all these vestigial systems that other games... Oh, would... yeah! True! World of Warcraft had, has something like this. Like, you do a boss, and then some some cooldowns get reset, but other cooldowns don't get reset when you finish a boss. So at the new boss, some, cool, some big cooldowns are off, but some aren't. And it's completely fucking arbitrary how Blizzard makes... Well, I can tell you how... Actually, I can tell you how Blizzard makes these decisions. Again, not a single dev plays dead game. We know this from Diablo 4. And you and you think that's honestly changing in World of Warcraft? No, obviously not. This is how Blizzard does uh, does their things, right? For uh, this is this is literally how every balancing works. So they aggregate talents, skills, uh, whatever into uh, into one group. For example, this is how they balance talent points out. Every class, like the first throw of talents, they, they have it aggregated as one giant thing, right? And all these talents need to be equal. If the first talent does 5% whatever, and so there's a class that where the first talent doesn't do 5% whatever, then that talent needs to be buffed or nerfed, depending on does it more or less. And this is how Blizzard does it for everything. Like all the skills are, aggre are aggregated in one uh, in in one giant group. And if it, if you know, and these skills are sometimes even probably not even compatible, right? It's something that one class spams and the other uses on cooldown. And if there's a difference in the percent of damage that these skills do in a raid or whatever, that skill gets buffed and nerfed based on that. There's literally no real human input. It, 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 it's just aggregation and balancing so everything is at one level, even though that ruins the game balance. I've already solved problems with, and it doesn't matter how long I don't play the game, because all of these things are still problems. Now, Blizzard might have improved them slightly and made them slightly less inconvenient, but something that's slightly less inconvenient is still inconvenient. Yep. So why does it exist in the first place? Why is it there? Well, because it's always been there? Well, that's not a good enough reason for me. So I, I, I can take, uh, I can, I can not play the game for 10 more years, and I can guarantee you probably at least half of these problems will still be there. I personally think too, too much probably. quality of life is too much. Um... It depends oh, okay. on what, well, yeah. Which one is too much then? Like, instead of talking about a theoretical, like, which one do you not want to have? What's worse, it is ever responsible to all these... nothing he named is a quality of life that is too much, okay? Quality of lives being too much is when essentially something's happening automatically. With you barely any of your input. That is too much quality of life on average. Tedious issues is to get good? Uh, yeah... I mean, like, I just, like, I'm not really criticizing, like, I think Mythic Raiding, like, there's a lot of issues with WoW that are kind of systemic, in a way. Wh whether it's, like, you know, like, how the community reacts to Mythic Raiding. Like, why is Mythic Raiding not cross-realm as soon as the first guild in the world kills the boss? At at the most. And, and, and really, why is it not cross-realm right from day one? Yeah. I find classic dog shit, but a lot of beauty in classic comes from the lack of quality of life. 
Well, it also comes from the quality of gameplay, right? Rather than... Well, not... in classic, a lot of the beauty from the lack of quality of life features is the fact that you, you feel rewarded when you do it. Here, in retail, you don't feel rewarded when there's a lack of quality of life features. That's the difference. Not quality of life, it's quality of gameplay. But, like, the gameplay that... Yeah, that's pretty much what the I said. The gameplay that is created by having to run back to a dungeon, or sorry, run back to a boss after you wipe, is bad and it's not just rewarding. not fun. Yep. And I don't want to waste time playing a game that wastes my time. Not gonna lie, your fixation on Warlock summoning is out of pocket. Getting to an instance has never been easier, and there's a stone just outside the instance. I guess that's true, Yeah, actually. I think it's a big deal. I don't want to have to do that. It's annoying. I don't want to have to zone out to do that. I think it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous waste of time. Well, world buffs would probably be the biggest example of an unfun mechanic that... Okay, I that I disagree with. It's like... Dude, it's like right there before the instance. If you want to go to it, just fucking go to it. The people will summon you there. You, you don't need a warlock to begin with, honestly. You're gonna have one, but you don't need one, honestly. Like, relax. That, that, that like, seriously is not a big issue, okay? Uh, it, I, I would agree with that being an issue if summoning stones did not work or do anything. Like when Classic launched and Blizzard decided to not implement them into the game for multiple months because stupid. Well, world buffs are fun. That's why people like using them. They like getting all the world buffs and blowing up the bosses. It feels no, good. that's stupid. Like getting the world buffs is a chore and it's annoying. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it allows you to. The 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 no no one in World of Warcraft Classic knows their damage difference with or without world buffs. Getting a world buff is, buff is rewarding is a good argument if people know how much damage they actually do without world buffs. But the reality is, most people don't fucking pay attention to know the difference between a world buff damage and non-world buff damage. They feel no difference, they see no difference. So, it's not rewarding. To destroy bosses really fast. So I think that there's like a trade-off, whereas like being able to summon into an instance isn't really a trade-off. It's just annoying. Being overpowered is cool too. Yeah, it sounds really cool. It feels really cool too. Came from a guy who hasn't raided enough to be annoyed by Warlock summoning. Yeah. Not to mention half the people uh, don't go to the store and it makes it even longer. Yeah, exactly. And then like you have to have two people go there and it's just, it, it's just, it's silly. Hot take, every third boss room should have an instant summon mechanic. This is what they need to do. They need to just have you respawn in front of the boss that you wipe to. Have everybody respawn right there in front of the Final boss. Final Fantasy have food style. persist through death, just like flasks do. Just like Final Fantasy. But it makes it's sense. Better. Final Fantasy is better in that regard, and that's all there is to it. Uh, every single cooldown should reset. By the way, the only reason Blizzard doesn't do that, I actually do know the reason, and most of you also know the reason, is because uh, Blizzard wants to make you play the game every second possible. Even if they can get a single second out of your game time extra, they will do it. Whenever a boss dies... And a boss also should reset cooldowns upon being engaged. It should reset every cooldown for every character. And it should also clear existing buffs, like, so you can't pre-buff and then, you know, like, have two of them, one after another. And so, uh, they should do that. Uh, absolutely. There are many bosses that already have mechanics like that, so they guaranteed have the technology for this. Um, and they should also have a summoning stone in front of every boss. Like a stake of Meritka. Uh, America, like in uh, Elden Ring. I agree, but uh, for most, but resetting CDs on pull will allow for some degen abuses. But like, I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't doesn't want sound to like have a problem. my game be annoying and unfun to play because seven people are trying to compete for parses on a third party website. I don't, I don't want to have the game be handicapped because of that. Like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I, I don't want to have that happen. If you clear trash, unlock boss summoning stone. Sure, but like, you shouldn't even have to clear as much trash. Why are people yep. still defending the tedious gameplay loop? What's wrong with just wanting to skip the wait times and want to raid? At, at this point, I don't I know. Don't really at this care. point, 
Uh, if people make sense, if, if people have this opinion about WoW, that's fine. Uh, they get what they deserve. That's yeah. People like again, it's just shit eaters. That's all there is to it. Just shit eaters. Do you think Ian is the reason why the game is so complex now? Absolutely not. Ian might be a symptom of that, and I would not be surprised if he wasn't. But I don't think that it's Ian's fault. Absolutely not. There are a lot of people that make decisions for a while. I mean, calling the game overly complex is kind of a bad thing in general. Because it's not overly complex, it's just annoying. And a lot of people are involved with it. It's not like it's one person that's ruining the game. It's the same thing with add-ons. Like, I don't want to have to download a bunch of add-ons to raid. This is one thing I don't understand about Blizzard. Every company should default, by the way, know this. If you're gonna ask people to go outside to a third-party website to play the game, not a lot of people are gonna play the game. The fact that raiding is locked behind downloading add-ons already makes the game so less popular it's insane because you know m maybe you download add-ons maybe you're used to it in fact but people who have not played world of warcraft who want to go into the game when they hear the fucking concept the uh, the absolute ludicrously stupid idea because it is ludicrously stupid that you need to go to a third website and download five fucking things will instantaneously make a lot of people just say, yeah, no, you know what, I'm, I'm t thanks, t thanks, but no thanks, uh, I I'm good, I'm not gonna play this game. Well, they want you in the game longer? Uh, well, they don't, though, because, like, I don't want to, uh, like, I don't want to play a game that's, that's annoying and waste of time. Uh, you're just playing wrong, it's not shit-eating, quality of life makes success feel worse. The fuck? Dude, how can you have such a stupid opinion? Jeez Louise. Did you play Elden Ring? I didn't, but I want to. That's what he said in chat. Okay. Looks great. It is. You should definitely should play it. World of Warcraft was a massive success. One of the big reasons why it was a massive success is because of uh, how many quality of life features it actually added. Like, for example, it added no experience loss on death. Uh, it added uh, seamless travel without loading screens. It also added uh, like a number of like weird issues that like old MMOs. Oh, he's talking about the time when oh yeah, when World of Warcraft came out. Yeah, it was the super e easiest. Well, yeah, actually, that's what I, exactly what I said, but way different time period. <laughs> Roll of Warcraft was literally the baby's first MMO back in the day when it uh, released. Everyone was saying, oh, it's not even hardcore. You don't have to rebuild your character 50 hours after you die. Bullshit, no one's gonna play it. It's had, like, you had to group with people in order to do things. You could play solo and WoW. Isn't, by your own definition, EverQuest more rewarding than World of Warcraft, then? If you think quality of life makes the game less rewarding that's what he says uh those are great points i love those quality of life it's not that i'm against quality of life it's just that for example boat traveling was a social experience for me and i like the rp elements also warlock summons were awesome um well what if you don't have a warlock like do you think that a like so then you have and, and this is kind of stone. what the issue is with this is that like whenever you don't have a warlock well now you have to waste a tremendous amount of time and by the way i'm talking about retail wow like, but not... I, I i don't understand this thing like in in classic yes i understand not having a bottle like actually sucks dick it does it truly does if something goes wrong it, it just sucks because someone's always going to be late right but but in the retail like dude bruh it takes literally probably less than three minutes to fly from whatever main city that you have like 15 trillion ways of teleporting to, to most likely the instance place that you need to be at. It's, it's not an issue in retail to get to an instance. I understand in classic it's slightly an issue. I was one of the people who always got summoned. 
But I said thank you, so people liked me, and always I got the summon because it was good. And it was fun, because it was a social experience. Well, I well, I guess getting summoned last is like, you know, being, be, being in, you know, your spo uh, sports lesson in school and getting picked last. So I guess I guess I can see how that could suck maybe, but I don't know. It's like, right, it's not a big deal. I'm not talking about classic WoW. I don't think that they should get rid of Warlock. I, I kind of understand it. Yes, it is a deal that it exists and maybe it shouldn't exist. But this is such a, such a, such a minor, 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 minor thing that, like, it shouldn't matter. Like, honestly... You should have punishments for people who can't fucking get to the main city, teleport through one of the 15 trillion ways that the game has added, and then just take uh, take two minutes to fly to the instance. Those people should be punished for existing and being that dumb. Summons in Classic WoW. It's a totally different game with a different set of expectations and everything like that. Where the Warlock doesn't have stones. Basically... I feel like things like Vaughn getting your character Vaughn inside stones, of an instance Jeez. don't really make sense to be a metagame inside of WoW. I don't think that they add any interest. I don't think they add anything other than tedium and monotony. I don't think they add any value at all. And I, I don't like this idea that quality of life, for some reason, is a bad thing. I think that to an extent, quality of life can make a game feel less fulfilling. But I, I would say that there's also people who think Okay, here's the biggest actual only pretty much argument that you can actually do against quality of life. It's true that you need quality of life for annoying things, but you can't uh, have quality of life on everything. Because the reality is, if we allow quality of life to everything, at some point World of Warcraft literally just de degrades to a game where you don't even have a character, you just have a screen, and then you click the activity that you want to do, and a cooldown timer start, uh, starts when the, that activity is finished. This, this, this is what happens when you add too many uh, things like that. Because you need there, there needs to be at least some reason, some point in you actually going around the world at some point. There needs to exist something like that. Otherwise, you're just literally going to st stand in one spot for eight hours until the raid starts and then, that, then you go. You know? There, there is there is such thing as too many quality of life features situation because then the game just completely degrades into you do nothing always and get rewards. I think that the quality of life that and it's not even really quality of life but just like the difficulty of classic raids make them less rewarding. So it really depends. Can we at least agree that a lot of quality of life uh, that people wanted led to more quality of life that have taken the soul out of the game? Uh, like you're destroying the RP and MMORPG, not all quality of life is bad, but retail is the result of too many quality of life added for complaining lazy fucks. I'm sure there are instances of that. Guys, I, I think that we're really... <sighs> this is escalating. <laughs> like yes i'm sure that's true like yeah for like for example like making like really easy raid difficulties i i agree with that but i'm talking about not having to wait around and spend half of my time in a raid buffing for a raid and getting ready to do a boss it's not fun to spend a four hour raid and an hour of that time is spilt spent on the logistics of Throw. getting the people to the boss you don't raid though. That's why I don't raid. That's the th that's my whole point. Why the fuck would I raid if it wastes that much of my time? Classic is worse, but it's not because every boss is a joke and you one shot all of them. That's why Season of Mastery died. It's because people had to actually. Yeah, this is this this is where Asmongold just goes off the rails again. It's it's like, yeah, the game should be easy. You just should get the rewards. This is where it completely goes off the rails. They spend time wiping and running back to the classic raid bosses, and they quit the fucking game because it was garbage. 
That's the whole reason. Oh, was season of mastery the one it. with new mechanics? Raid time is already limiting enough. I agree. Yes. Holy fuck, man. Hmm. Yeah, to me, I understand why you might like Warlock Summons and stuff like that. I totally understand that. But to me, I also... True, you're, you're taking Strun Season of Mastery. My issue with Season of Mastery is that we got the same rewards, but we had to play with the same idiots. Yeah, well, that's kind of what happens in Retail WoW, too. Is that what you're saying is that once the difficulty of content becomes so high, it becomes not rewarding. And that's what it is. It takes 10 seconds to rebuff. It's not a significant amount of time. So if it takes 10 seconds and you wipe 20 times, how long is that? That's like three minutes. And what if it takes 20 seconds? Well, then that's six minutes. Rebuffing, by the way, usually takes like a minute just to check the you rebuff everything. Yes, yes, no, no, well, shit. That's your fault? Okay, well, I don't want to play a game that has By the way, I, I kind of understand all of these things. For example, you know what's actually the slowest thing about raiding in Classic? Is the fact that people are... Well, they're gonna be boomers about shit, you know? You you do a pull with, like, three three mobs in Blackwing, Lair, or whatever, and it's like, Okay, okay, five-minute break, everyone! Y y healers need mana! What are you talking about? Half of the healers didn't even cast a single spell. Why the fuck do we need, to, need a three-minute break now for healers to get mana? Because, um... Two, two of them have have only 90% mana. It's like, there's so much time wasted on shit like this. I kind of understand. I, I kind of understand these points. Because, yeah, it's like, the difference between doing Blackwing Lair in an hour or two hours, like the average do, is literally just uh, the, the speed of actually pulling mobs. It is literally just that. Taking less breaks and shit like that. That that that's it. That is a fail state. Yeah, I I I, I just... And that's when rebuffing does come in, by the way, and wastes a lot of your time. Just don't, I don't want to waste my time with that. It's that simple. Like I I really don't uh I I don't think it's 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 really not that complicated to me. The reason why I don't raid in WoW is because I think that it's a colossal waste of time and it's not fun. It's that simple. I don't think that it's fun to get a big raid of people together, to have one or two people make a mistake and cost everybody their time. I don't think that it's fun to have metagames like having to summon people into the instance and if you can't, it takes a bunch of extra time. I don't think it's fun to have to clear trash mobs for five or 10 minutes to get to the next boss. I don't think that it's fun to have to rebuff and run all the way back to the boss after you yeah, die. Yeah, it makes sense. All of these things, these things are fun. not arguable. And every single time that I have to do them, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And these things haven't changed in retail well. And Forever. it seems like they're not yeah. going to. So I don't really care about what you think quality of life would kill the game. Because I'm talking about my perspective on the game. This is how I feel, and this is how... This is why I don't enjoy raiding in WoW. Straight up. Like, I don't think this is fun, and I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, granted, I kind of get it, but at the same time, even if it's your perspective, you can be wrong. Because everything's a fucking perspective at the end of the day, right? You know? Uh, one thing that he is definitely wrong about in his perspective is that the, the fact that he doesn't like the idea that, you know, uh, two or three people can die and then you can uh, need to reset the raid. I kind of get that. I kind of get that. That sucks. But what is the alternative? There is no alternative. That's the real deal. We have been here with the Lost Ark issues forever, okay? When you're gonna have a team game... You need to understand that th there's always going to be that situation when you're raiding. It's like, if one person dies, you're fucked. That's the reality of it. Every person... It, because you can't make a raid where no person has any responsibilities at all. It's like borderline impossible to actually make a raid where like five people can die and you can still be... Yeah, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. You know, in the first like two minutes. 
It, it's just not, it's just not how, it, it, it can't be done. There is no fix to this. Yeah, if two or three people screw up a raid mechanic, you should reset. That is the brutal reality of life. There is no way to get around it unless you want the game to make, you know, literally single, uh, sing, uh, single player bosses. Which I think I, it would be kind of good because Asmongold loves like Dark Souls games. So he would be fine with this. And by the way, so would I, I would be in Lost Ark. Man, I would love that you have uh, bosses that you can actually solo and get the maximum rewards from. And that would be lit. That would be great. Okay? But it's probably never happening. The same way that soloing, uh, soloing raids in uh, World of Warcraft is never gonna really happen. I used to care about it more, but I don't. And I think that there's a lot of people that feel the uh, that feel the same way that I do. They also don't like to go into a four-hour raid and have 1.5 hours of that raid spent on some logistical challenge that exists in the game for no reason. Well, to be fair, no. <laughs> For example, when I started playing World of Warcraft again in Shadowlands, great choice by the way, I know, thank you. Um, I, I thought that I'm gonna go and do raiding. The first time I hit my max level, I was like, am I, am I gonna go do raiding? Yeah, let's see. And I was like, okay, there, 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 there's this boss and there's like, he does like five abilities. And five abilities is not a lot because I'm a Lost Ark player. I, I'm used to 30 abilities, and you know, the, the only way to distinguish them is like one little fucking pixel somewhere on the screen. I'm fine with that, but I'm like, oh man, it's like five abilities? Each of them have this much fucking text. I, I don't feel like reading seven, uh, seven pages of text to fucking, you know, do this. I really don't. If, if, if Blizzard could actually, like, summarize those abilities in, like, you know, two sentences, like, play, places big red area, move out, then I would be fine with it. But other than that, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, Blizzard. What, what, what did, did I queue up to read a novella, or did I queue up to kill a raid boss? And then I decide to not do it, okay? Um, then after a week, I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm, this is not mythic, right? I can probably face tank uh, all of these mechanics, even if I fail as a rogue. How hard can it be? And I had no add-ons, by the way. So I queue up. What happens? Nothing. Nothing. I think I spent a fucking hour in Raid Finder and didn't find a single group. What raiding even exists in that case? Do I need a guild? Why, why does a raid finder exist if I need a guild to do like fucking super easy bosses or something? Like what the fuck is going on even? I don't find it fun. Especially not whenever you, ha you have no autonomy over the loot that you get. Like you can't master loot. Like I saw that in the thread about this, people were saying that I was stupid because personal loot got removed. It didn't get removed. You just do the random roll yourself. The loot is functionally assigned to you, and you cannot assign loot to another player unless every single person in the group passes on that item. So you can't functionally have master loot in the way that it exists in Classic WoW, which is basically the point of it. So you don't have personal loot, but you functionally have personal loot. Like, loot in WoW right now functions the exact same as loot in, uh, in, in Shadowlands. I agree for pug raiding, but would you agree guild raids are much different? Why would I care? Why would I care about, well, what if I'm not in a guild? So does that mean I just have to waste an extra hour and a half? I don't understand. So, like, now, so, so now people, like, that aren't in a guild, like, have to waste a huge amount of time raiding? Okay, that's all right. That's fine. All right. Well, then I don't want to invest into a guild because it takes too long. So... Mm, makes sense. I just... I guess I won't play the game. 
people care so much about my opinion on these different issues that they just they they are are fucking just out of their mind that I don't see the game the way that they do. But like yeah. usual, makes sense. That's exactly why people wanted LFR. Uh, do you think LFR was great then? LFR, the main bad thing about LFR isn't the fact that it's a raid, it's the fact that the raiding gear from LFR invalidated previous raid tiers. That's why it was bad. It's like, yeah, of course it was cool, like, being able to see the Lich King if you were really good at the game, sure. But, like, the main bad thing about LFR is that the game gave you gear for LFR that was so good that it made doing anything else below that a complete waste of time. Yeah. It's again people that don't really understand Was it the like game that? trying to like counter me on these points, and they don't even understand what they're saying. I don't understand why they say not finishing the raid makes your point invalid. The reason why they say not finishing the raid makes my point invalid, it's because they can't make my point invalid by disproving it. So instead of attacking my argument, they attack me as a person because they don't know why I'm wrong, other than the fact that. Maybe I'm bad at the game. I, I, I don't know if not finishing a raid counts as attacking you as a person. Only if you're deeply invested and you see that a personal as a personal attack. As if this is some sort of a fucking accusation. Like it's a, this is it's like big a personal business. attack. Like wow, you're not good at a video game. Who the fuck cares? It's a video game. Number one, and, and number two, most people aren't good at the game. So. Doesn't that make my point better? If I'm bad, and most people are bad, well then, don't I have a perspective that resonates with most people? What the fuck? Just say you don't want to play WoW anymore, that's okay, but stop making this up. He's not okay. making it up, though. Eh. Alright. Ban. Alright, what part of the Probably I ban. Uh, I, I really, I, I don't want to do this for that long, okay? So, like, let's just, get, can you type this out quick? Yeah, let's go. Ah, yes. Yep, go ahead. Winning arguments while talking while someone is writing. That doesn't work too great. Wow, this takes a long... Whoa, he's actually talking to this guy a long time. Look at that. Oh, I can't see. Go ahead, well, let's yourself. see. Is he going to explain himself? Let us see. Think it's because you attack them, calling them shit eaters, and they get defensive? Probably. <laughs> then stop eating shit. <laughs> Stop eating shit. The difference is that, like, whenever I call them shit eaters, then I, after I call them shit eaters, I explain why they're eating shit. And I explain why what they're eating is shit. See, that's the difference. I feel like, oh, is this it? I feel like you make stuff up for no reason, though. Things have been in the game forever. So do you think mm, again, that because something has been in the game thing. for a long time, it should stay in the game? So what you're saying is that's you don't smart. want the game to evolve at all. It's like, well, the game is bad now, so it should always be bad. So, like, for example, you used to not be able to summon people inside of, uh, of raids. Like, in Classic WoW, you actually would have to go outside of a raid to summon people into a raid. You think they should change that back, right? Because, like, that used to be in the game, and now it's not. No one said it bad, but now you say it's bad. Is English your first language? I mean, how is he supposed to fucking respond to someone who's talking? I, I talked about this before, but I really hate when he does this. Because the reality is there's no fucking way you can win an argument while someone is talking and you are forced to respond in uh, uh, with typing. Because the person talking has so much more freedom, so much more versatility, and he can say so much more. He can- you, you can be typing and responding to someone someone says, and a day in the meantime while you are typing, they can just keep on talking and change the whole context of everything that they just said, and now everything you typed is useless. Honestly, answering in f fucking, you know, short summaries like this may be the smartest thing that someone has ever done. No Icelandic? Okay. Maybe there are things that are getting lost in translation. A lot of people have complained about these problems. That's why some of the problems have...
been changed over the years. And also people's tastes change and the way that people approach video games change. I think also being able to see games... That's, that's a good point, but that's actually also a point to why you would be wrong. Games like Lost Ark and Final Fantasy approach this problem differently gives different perspective to how the problems exist in current WoW. And I think over time, people have become less accepting of problems that exist in current WoW because other games have solved them and made them better over time, whereas World of Warcraft hasn't. They haven't solved any of these problems. And in fact, they've just ignored them. Yeah, and I was going to say, they're not even whenever, trying to solve them. Every other game doesn't have issues like this. Not every other game, but at least a number of other games don't have issues like this, but World of Warcraft does. Put me on blast, I'll knock you off your echo chamber. Uh, what do you have to say? Is okay. that a different person? All right, thank God. Let's go. We'll have one more one oh. more argument, and then we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, got stuff out of WoW. You want to take 8% of the population because it's just raids with the boys. That's because you don't actual raid. So you want WoW to have the same gear, all expansion. Okay, so so, so what, what part of what I'm saying isn't true? Man, they're never going to win, probably. What, what, like what, Again, what, you can't win while typing. What part of it isn't true? He made the account to troll you? Yeah, but he did it five months ago. Or four months ago. I'll let him- I'll, I'll let it slide. Finally, Reddit will admit Asmon doesn't pick and choose viewer complainers. No, people always think that they, uh... They always think that I picked the dumbest person because they think they're smarter. That- that's what it is. No, it's just the fact that anyone chatting on average is an idiot. <laughs> it's true! All the stuff you want to take out of the game are all social aspects of it. So you think running back to the boss is a social aspect that makes the game better? Because- mm, Does it make it better? No, but running back to the boss is definitely a social aspect. Well, if you're in a guild, and just a looking for raid, it's probably stupid, but in a guild, it's like, man, Wait, what? We have wiped in Molten Court. It, it can happen sometimes, you know. Shit happens, someone goes AFK. <laughs> like, for example, half of your healers. It happens. And when you die, it, it, is actually, it is actually a great social experience. The run back is lame and boring, and the rebuffing is boring, but it is a social experience. He is technically right about that one. Because I don't think it does. And also- I still remember some fucking wipes. <laughs> where everyone's like, wait, why are we wiping? Oh, because those people are actually AFK and they're not doing their assign assigned jobs. Oh. Oh. Wait, does that mean our tryhard fucking guildmate who's topping currently DPS is gonna die? And now he's not gonna get maximum- uh, maximum DPS and top the meters because he will not have uh, all the fucking world buffs in the game including Dark Fair mo uh, world buffs while no one else of us has Dark Fair mo world buffs? Yes. That's a great social experience though. So, wouldn't loot council and being able to uh, have personal loot or not, not have personal loot be a social aspect as well? What about add-ons? What about add-ons that make it to where that you can... I don't, ex uh, I, I, I don't get his point because he's creating this point I already can tell based on things that World of Warcraft ha uh, developers have chosen to take out of the game. They chose, uh, and, this is, and this is a bad argument because, well, yeah, they chose to take things out of the game that are, as he said, uh, social aspects. But they uh, chose to remove them because uh, something that wasn't the social aspect was over-trumping uh, th that part of the game. So this is not actually a good argument. Communicate with another player by the add-on computing an outcome and then telling you how to react to it without computing that. Because in fact, that's the exact opposite of a social aspect. It's removing a social aspect. All you do is raid with viewers and not with an actual guild. So what you're saying is that all I do is pug. What do you think most people do in, in WoW is? 
most people pug. That's why Wrath of the Lich King was so successful, is because the raids were pretty easy and people could pug them. That's why GDKPs are so successful too and so popular. It's because they happen at different times and people can come and go as they choose. Or not GDKPs, people can't really come and go. But they don't have to like make a multi-week commitment. Multi-week commitment? Not sure about that one, Chief. Because you are raiding with the boys. Okay, so what's one of the things that you want to see me take out of the- you, you- I, I'm done with this. There's no way to argue with this while writing. Anyway, this is Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day. Bye-bye.